The back rooms. You've been here before. Level 97. Lighthouse. Survival difficulty. Class 3. Unsafe. Unsecure. Low entity count. Level 97 is the 98th level of the back rooms. Image caption. A picture of level 97's lighthouse taken from the boat. Description. The explored portion of level 97 consists of a small island surrounded by a saltwater ocean. The island is covered mostly with overgrown grass, as well as some moss-covered rocks. Scattered throughout the island are a number of weathered gravestones. Occasionally, new gravestones will appear, though this is a rare occurrence. Level 97 has no day-slash-night cycle, and always appears to be nighttime. The sky is starless, but a large crescent moon can always be seen in the sky. There are no clouds or precipitation, but level 97 is always covered with a thick fog. In the center of the island is a large white lighthouse. Because of the nature of level 97, the interior of this lighthouse has not been explored. The light at the top is always shining, and slowly spins around, breaking the fog. Any object that the light shines on will be destroyed through unknown means. The ocean surrounding the island stretches as far as the eye can see, and although it is extremely deep, it has been confirmed to not be bottomless. Offshore of the island is an 18th century sailboat that seems to be frozen in place, with no movement occurring from the waves. Because this ship is relatively safe in comparison to the rest of level 97, the Meg has set up a small outpost there. Populating the island in level 97 are several of humanoid entities known as ghouls. These ghouls resemble corpses in a state of extreme decomposition. When a ghoul sees a wanderer, they will walk towards them. Although they can be outrun, there are many of them, so it's easy to get cornered. For this reason, it is not advised to go on the island. If a ghoul catches someone, they will grab onto them with a strong grip, holding them in place. When this happens, the lighthouse's light will stop spinning and point downwards towards the wanderer, killing them. Entrances and Exits Entrances Level 97 can be entered through random doors in level 17, or through hallways in level 532. Exits Clipping through certain walls on the ship can lead to level 100, the ship is also home to a singular door that leads to level 372. Additional Documents Radio Broadcast Radios in level 97 have picked up a looping Morse code transmission that seems to be present at all times. Recording of the Transmission When translated, the Morse code spells out, save them, over and over. I've been listening to that transmission for so long that I can hear it ringing in the background of my head at all times. There's more to be found here. I don't know how I convinced Andrew to let me set up an outpost here, but I guess he trusted me. I just know that ever since I first heard those beeps, even before we decoded them, it's been like something was calling me. I just need to figure out what... I'm going to do something very dangerous tomorrow, so I'm going to write down some of my thoughts just in case. First of all, I made a little bit of an embellishment in my report to the Meg. I think I wrote something about how new gravestones occasionally appear, but we don't know why. Well, I have a pretty good idea of why one of them appeared. That was after a failed mission where I lost a good friend of mine. After a few sleepless nights of poring over the transmission and watching the lighthouse with my binoculars, I decided it was time for us to see what was inside. 
I needed to keep a few people back, so I just took Joshua and Lucy with me. In the fog, we got separated. I heard Joshua calling for help, but by then, it was too late. I looked over, and a light shined through the fog. I could only watch in horror as Joshua's body melted away, his flesh dripping off of his bones as his empty eye sockets pleaded with me to save him. Finally, I returned to my senses as I felt Lucy pulling on my arm. I almost stopped the project that night. My obsession with finding out what the level's secret was paled in comparison to the pain I felt at the death of my friend. But then, there was hope. With my binoculars, I could see that not only had a new gravestone appeared, but now the ghouls were sixteen in number. I'd recognize that stupid haircut anywhere. It was Joshua. As he walked aimlessly, I could tell that he wasn't in good shape, but maybe, just maybe, he could be saved. That was two months ago. I know Lucy and Nathan would never let me set foot on that island again, but I was able to get Alex on my side, and she's going to help me capture Joshua, armed with a fishing net. We're heading out tonight. I'm sorry, Lucy. I'm sorry, Nathan. I promise I'll come back alive. Signed, Alice. We did it. Lucy and Nathan left earlier today. They couldn't stand to see Joshua in the state he's in. They said I should have just let things be. I'll fix things with them later, but right now, I have work to do. I tied Joshua to the table, and the first thing I noticed was the tapping. His index finger, the bones of the first two joints missing, kept tapping in a repeated pattern. It was Morse code, the same pattern as the transmission, save them, save them, save them, save them. I was listening in closely when he looked like he was trying to do something that required all his strength. In a hoarse whisper, I could barely hear him say, just let me die, please. I had to leave the room after that. I haven't had the courage to go back in yet, but I think it's time for me to finish what I started. I think it's time for me to go to the lighthouse. I'm going to do it right now before Alex can stop me, before I can change my mind. Signed, Alice. Begin recording. Heavy breathing can be heard. Morse code beeping can be heard. A decoded transcript of the beeping is included below. A light in the darkness. Redirection to a related tale. The back rooms. You've been here before. Save our ship. Darkness. I feel the waves crashing against my shores. Memories resurface. They are so far away, yet so loud. Voices. Panic. Suffocation. It feels like so long ago. Save them. I open my eye. Its light cuts through the darkness. The ocean is calmer. The waves have stopped. I can see a single ship on the horizon. The beeping echoes through my mind. Its distorted sounds twisting like the symbols I once interpreted as words. Save them. I know. Save them, save them, save them, save them. The ship draws near. Save them, save them, save them, save them. My gaze falls upon its crew, but they cannot see it. They are still so far away, worlds away. But for a moment, the worlds will be one. Save them, voices, panic, suffocation. Save them, it's getting closer now. Save them. I can see the captain's eyes. His expression betrays nothing, as he does not realize what is to come. Save them. The sea is angry. It beats on the hull with fists of water. But the ship holds steady. Save them. The captain looks up. The light is seen, but he knows it is too late. He brings his arm up weakly, as if to brace for impact. Save them, save them, save them. The ship stops, frozen. My eye shines upon them. The beeps are quiet now. The sea is quiet now. The waves are peaceful. I can feel the sailors like ants crawling on my skin. They are a part of me now. They are safe, now and forever. I close my eye, retreating back into darkness. Return to the original article on level 97.
I stopped them from crashing upon the shores. Alice, I did it. I made it in. It's very eerie in here. So dark. I can hear the beeping, but it's not the same as the transmission. It's so loud now. The sound is surrounding me. I'm, I'm almost afraid to turn on my flashlight. Clicking can be heard, presumably from a flashlight. More heavy breathing can be heard. Saving them from the depths, I answered their calls. Alice. Oh my god! I gave them life. I halted death and asked nothing in return. Alice. It's a giant heart. It's beating. I brought them somewhere safe. Somewhere no one could hurt them. Alice. I... I don't know how, but I know exactly what I need to do. They walk in peace. They walk immortal. Their numbers grow as more souls are safe. A loud crash can be heard. End recording. In an incident where Meg member Alice Connolly was lost, Level 97 experienced a structural shift. The revised description is below. Level 97. Lighthouse. Survival Difficulty Class Zero Safe, Secure, Devoid of Entities Level 97 is the 98th level of the back rooms. Image Caption A picture of Level 97's island. Description The explored portion of Level 97 consists of a small island surrounded by a saltwater ocean. This island is covered mostly with overgrown grass as well as some moss-covered rocks. Scattered throughout the island are 17 weathered gravestones. Each of these gravestones has a variety of flowers growing around them. Level 97 has no day-night cycle, and always appears to be nighttime. The sky is starless, but a large crescent moon can always be seen in the sky. Level 97 has no weather, including clouds and fog. In the center of the island is the ruins of a large white lighthouse. The ocean surrounding the island stretches as far as the eye can see, and although it is extremely deep, it has been confirmed to not be bottomless. Offshore of the island, the wreckage of an 18th century sailboat can be found. Entrances and Exits Entrances Level 97 can be entered through random doors in level 17, or through hallways in level 522. Both of these entrances lead to the wreckage of the boat, so it's recommended that all wanderers entering the level are prepared to immediately swim to the surface. Exits. The wreckage is home to a single door that leads to level 372. There is also a hatch in the ruins of the lighthouse that leads to level 522. Swimming in the ocean will sometimes lead wanderers to the shore of level 448 through unknown means.